Hello everyone, this is Pampi Morandante and today I'll be talking about HCF and LCM. When we say HCF, it's highest common factor and LCM means the least common multiple. Okay. Before we start working on the HCF and the LCM, let's have some vocabularies first. Starting with the multiple. When we say multiple, a multiple of a number is the result of multiplying it by a whole number. So if you have here an example, let's say if you are asked the multiples of 3, then you have 3, 6, 9, 12, and so on and so forth. So if you are asked for the multiples of 5, you have 5, 10, 15, and so on and so forth. So that is the meaning of multiples. The next vocabulary here is factor look at this factor when we say factor a factor of a number is a whole number that divides exactly into it with no remainder like for example i have here 24 what do you think are the factors of 24 so of course the first is one and the number itself one and 24 you also have two and 12 okay start with a smaller number and then three you think if it's uh, factorable yes it's three and um, eight and then four and six so these are the factors in other in other words when you divide a number by um, when you divide 24 by a number without a remainder then it's a factor okay so here we go we list down the factors we have one two three four five one two three four six eight twelve and twenty four we list them down in ascending order Okay, let's move on. So I have here another two words. We have the prime and composite. Prime and composite. Okay, what do you mean by prime? A prime number is a whole number with exactly two factors, namely one and itself. Okay, like for example, what are example of prime numbers? I have here two, three, five, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13. Why these are prime numbers? Okay, so basically when we say 2, okay, the factors, what do you think are the factors? It's only 2 and 1. 3, we only have 1 and 3. 5, 1 and 5. So basically all of these numbers here, these are prime numbers. Okay, now, next one here is the composite. When we say composite, a composite number is a whole number that has more than two factors. So, if you have here a number like, for example, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, and so on and so forth. Okay, let's start investigating 4. 4, we have, of course, 1 in itself. But aside from that, you also have 2 and 2, which is 2 times 2 equal to 4, right? is equal to 4 so we have 6 also you have 2 and 3 so and so on and so forth we have 8 9 10 not only 1 and itself not only 1 and 8 not only 1 and 9 there are other factors aside from 1 and itself in that case we call them composite okay and our next word here is prime factorization when we say prime factorization this is a process of finding the factors of a number, okay? Now, here, I'm going to show you some of um, the steps on how to find out the prime factorization. The first one here is the factor 3 method. Factor 3 method. Okay, look at this. And the other one is the continuous division. So first, I'll give you an example on how to do um, the prime factorization using the factor 3 method. By the way, um, we need this prime factorization in order for us to find out the prime factors. So let's have an example. Let's work first on the factor 3 method. I have here a problem. Find the prime factors of 240. So I'm highlighting here the prime factors of 240. So let's show, I'm going to show you now how I'm going to find out the prime factors using the factor 3 method. So we have here, look at them. I'm making it a little bit fast, but I'm going to explain it to you. So here we go. You have here 240 and then it's like 
a tree we have 240 here as our roots and then we have the branches first we have 10 and 24 okay now i have decided with 10 and 24 because 240 ends with zero so basically it's divisible by 10 so 10 and 24 and then we can easily break down 10 into 2 and 5 okay and then 24 you can have 6 and 4 but i'm i'm having it 3 and 8 here because automatically we can have already 3 as a prime factor okay one of the prime factors of 24 so and then we stop here already for 10 which is 2 and 5 because 2 and 5 are already prime and then and then 8 still not a prime number because there are other factors see that's how we are going to apply now the prime and composite here so 8 we have 2 and 4 still 4 is not a prime number we break it down again into 2 and 2 so there you go i'm encircling them in black you have 2 2 another 2 here and another 2 so we have 1 2 3 4 there are four twos so in other words 2 to the power of 4 and then there is one 3 okay and then one 5 so there you go guys we can write them in exponential form 2 to the power of 4 because we repeated 2 4 times okay so this is our prime factors this is the prime factors of 240 these are the prime factors i mean of 240 okay next one is the continuous division how do we do that okay look at this 240 so basically you can start with the smallest um how do we call this one prime number okay two the smallest even prime number huh so this is another thing that i would like you to think of uh, to remember rather that two is the only even prime number okay so here so check check on this you have two so start with the smallest prime number you have two then you can divide 240 by two and then bring it down again 120 by two you have 60 by two and then 30 and so on and so forth then you can just encircle you can just encircle guys the the prime number so see how many times we repeated four at uh, two rather so you have two to the power of four then one three and one five so these are the prime factors of 240 both in presented in factor three and then the other one in continuous division okay <music>